The head of the United Nations on Saturday pressed countries around the globe to step up their efforts to combat climate change and further curtail their use of fossil fuels. At a UN-led virtual summit, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the pledges that the pledges the world has made since the Paris Climate Accords that were signed five years ago have been insufficient. Five years after Paris, we are still not going in the right direction. The commitments made in Paris were far from enough to get there, and even those commitments are not being met. Carbon dioxide levels are at record highs, he said. Can anybody still deny that we are facing a dramatic emergency? That is why today I call on all leaders worldwide to declare a state of climate emergency in their countries until carbon neutrality is reached. Some 38 countries have already done so, recognizing the urgency and the stakes. I urge all others to follow. So one of the criticisms I had had of Trump that, because um, I would often say that a lot of the things he did were just either the exact same as his immediate predecessor or even worse, uh, was climate change. Between pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement um, and, and really just, you know, the Keystone XL pipeline, all, all that stuff was part of a pattern, it seems, where these various heads of states across the, the world do not seem to want to take this issue seriously. And with Biden mentioning that he doesn't oppose fracking, which does have a negative impact on uh, the U.S.'s response to climate change, you can theoretically deduce, or reasonably deduce rather, that you're probably not going to see a actual change. Because see, it's one thing for Biden to say he wants to rejoin the um, Paris Agreement. It's another for the UN Secretary to come out and say, listen, this agreement that you guys made, which by itself still wasn't enough to curtail this issue, you aren't even following. So even if Biden does the bare minimum of following the agreement that uh, was reached five years ago, he still, even in meeting the criteria from that agreement, according to the UN, is not doing enough to actually change anything. So he still loses even by going back to the policy. And think about it, that was, he's trying to, if, if he goes back to the Paris Agreement, which he's talked about supporting, uh, he will be in the exact same position that the U.S. had five years ago. Basically, he's he wants to take a position that, that is already outdated. <laughs> And that's your that's your most progressive president ever, as he likes to this uh, call himself. I'm just God. The U.S. is like it's it's literally watching a bunch of right wing people run against each other and then try to pretend they're less or more right wing than the other person, depending on which side of the spectrum they like to say they fall on. 